Hi folks, welcome to a Fusion Friday. Let's design a knife blade. I'm gonna start with the two point rectangle. I'm gonna click the face right here, work plane, and we'll say it's one by four. And I, that's the base of the blade. Let's add the front end of it. I'll go to sketch, arc, three point arc. And three point arc lets me pick the first spot the ending spot, and then the radius. I want to dimension that so I know what it is. 3.625, that's fine. And I'll hit L on the keyboard just to finish this off, like so. Q to press pull, click these two faces, 0.1 inch. This is not necessarily the world's best knife blade. It's just a CAD example to show you really the cut sweep option. So there's our base blade. We want to start the bevel for the knife blade about an inch in, in this example. So I'm going to do construct offset plane. I'll pick this and I'll type negative one. That gives me a plane starting one inch into the knife. I'm going to sketch what you call a guide curve, I think. Uh, if you don't know what that is, just sit, sit tight and you'll see it here in a second. So L for line, and I'm going to click on this face here. And then it should snap to that one inch increment, which is great. And I'm just going to go up for now to the uh, where the knife blade starts to spit, twist up. Now, I'd love to hear from you folks. There's probably a better way to do this next step. But I'm going to go ahead and we knew it was a 3.625 um, radius curve. So I'm going to sketch that line up there. Go to select. Oops. 3.625, so select that line, make it construction, and now go to sketch arc, center point arc. Click that as the center point. I'm going to start it here, and I'm going to just sweep it up past the knife blade. Stop sketch. Now you can see I've got a concentric arc, if you will. That to that is concentric. <clears throat> now we need to sketch our actual knife bevel. So L for line. I'm going to pick this plane that we created right here. So you can see I'm staring head on at the knife. And I see my point right here. That's the point where that uh, guide curve is. So I'm going to start my sketch there. And I'm going to go. A, um, snap a line down to the center point right here of the blade. Go over and come up. And you can see what I've done is I've created this really thin triangle that represents the cut of that bevel. Go to create sweep. Best way to pick that bevel is to hold down the left mouse key and I can alternate through my, now I let up on the mouse key or mouse button and I can alternate through my options and you see the third one profile is that uh, shape I want to cut and path I don't know what it has but ignore that click here and here and I think we're gonna want to change it to what's here I think it one of these is the right one I don't even know um, yeah so I don't think it's I think it's the other one so if we take a look at that it doesn't get as Thin toward the top. I actually don't even know what the difference is, to be honest with you guys. Or no, maybe we did one. Well, let's do this. Let's create the mirror of it first. So go to construct midplane. I'm going to click on this face and this face, and that gives me a plane right down the center of the knife blade. And I'll go to create mirror, and I can mirror these two across the mirror plane, pick the new plane we just created, click OK, and now I get a bevel, and that's actually, I believe, exactly what I wanted. Uh, I wanted to look, though, when we go to the other sweep option, it does change it. Oh, yeah, that's what it does. It does leave a, a little bit too much material there. And again, I don't know from a CAD or parametric CAD standpoint what the difference is between those two. If we hover over it, uh, it doesn't tell us. Um, you can see that what it's doing, it's parallel to the plane versus per, versus K, 
continuing on in a uh, straight axis, I guess. That's how you create a simple knife shaped part. And that cut sweep, folks, is a very powerful tool. That ability to create a sketch and then um, sweep, cut it along a profile. Awesome thing to know. Take care, folks. Merry Christmas. And I'll see you next Friday.